Today I am doing my live stream on a Tuesday instead of a Wednesday. Uh, sorry about that, those who who might miss the live stream, but tomorrow I am not going to be available. So uh, Tuesday it is. So uh, Wire Lady TV happens every week. My name is Heather Boyd Wire. If you're new to my channel, be sure to subscribe for all kinds of wire, art, and jewelry making videos. And today I had a special request. Hi Amber, first one on, nice to see you. I'm gonna pull up the video on my computer so I can see the comments and see who's hopping on. And like I said, normally I go live on Wednesdays, so today is just an exception because um, I won't be here tomorrow. Say hi Mustafa, how are you? Nice to see you. Oh, and I'm getting this error message again on my computer, which is very strange. That happened last week. So let me know if you can hear me, if you could see me. I do not know why I cannot see the video on my computer, but I can see your comments. So that's a good thing. I'll just have to be careful to keep my hands on the screen because sometimes they go off the screen. So uh, hi, Carolina. Carolina, how are you? Or Carolina, I guess, uh, from Ecuador, beautiful. And today I had a special request from Sandra to, to make horseshoe rings. You can hear and see me, awesome. So here are my little scratchy little sketches. If you guys are wondering how I design uh, the jewelry, I usually do little scratchy sketches like this. I've ripped off all the little personal notes that I wrote around the outside and possibly my shopping list. So now these are my ideas for doing a horseshoe ring. So we're going to see. Uh, audio is clear. Fantastic. Thanks for letting me know. Hi, Sarah. How are you? Let me see if anyone, Kathy's hopping on. Hi, Kathy and Susanna. Nice. Great. Everybody's hopping on today. So I had posted in the community section that I was doing the live today. And sorry, uh, like I said, for people that are missing it. So you can always get updates in the community section of my channel. And I also share, you know, some templates, pictures of viewers' work, all kinds of things. Monica from Trinidad. Hello, hello. I'm going to turn the screen around so we can get started. Here we go. Here's my little scratchy sketches for the horseshoe rings. And I'm going to try some different things today. Hi, Barbara. Nice to see you. So I have all kinds of wires too. Um, I have uh, all this artistic copper wire that the Beetle On Company sent me. Uh, I'm very grateful to them for sending me the, all this wire. And I think I'm gonna work with some gold today. So I have different sizes of the gold. Uh, hope you're fine, all good here. Yeah, thanks Sarah. So I have different uh, sizes. So I have 18 that I usually use for the rings. I have 22 that I use for wrapping. I have some 20 and I have this thicker uh, 16 gauge wire. Now I wanna hammer this wire so I might have some trouble because it's like a plated wire so I don't know how well it's gonna go but we're gonna try it just to see. And I think I'm gonna start with the flat one because um, I'm gonna have to make a little bit of noise but that's okay, we're gonna try it. So these are all the different ideas I was thinking for a horseshoe ring, like a basic one. And then this one was the one where I was thinking to flatten it. So why don't we start with this and then I'm gonna try some with beads, maybe with a heart, all kinds of different things. So we're gonna go from there and see. Hi Verdella, how are you? I hope everything's doing well. Everybody, yeah, all good. And Amber, hello Amber. We have got two Ambers on board today. That's awesome. So now let's just go ahead and just try it. Because yeah, you guys know me, I just like to get started, get going with things, and then we'll see how it goes. So what I have for the flattened wire, normally I flatten my wire with the rolling mill downstairs, but I don't think I'm gonna drag you guys down in my basement, although I might. We're gonna see how this goes. So I have a metal plaque. And then I also just happened to have a beetle on a hammer uh, that I bought years ago before I even really knew much about the beetle on company. So we're going to try that. But I, and I also have this hammer, but this hammer I think is for metal, more like metal stamping. This one is from the Beeducation uh, group. They sent me this years ago when I did some collabs with them. So this is a good heavy duty one, but I think this is more for metal stamping. So I really have to get myself some better hammers for sure. Hey Peggy, nice to see you. So now um, I'm going to just try, just try this, just going to get a little piece and hammer it. And then I also have a file because you have to file the ends. So 
I thought I had a file. I have to find out where I put it. Oh, and I very, very, you know, carefully found my file and brought it out, and now I can't see it, but maybe I have it in my little bag of tricks here. So we're gonna see. And if I have my file in there, I have all kinds of stuff, but I'm not sure I have my file. Yes, I do, yes, I do. Perfect, so here's my file. That's awesome, and a couple other random stuff. So we're gonna move that. Uh, uh, no live stream tomorrow, no Mustafa, because I'm actually going to see my parents tomorrow in Ottawa. So, um, so I will not be here for the live stream tomorrow. I thought about doing it from Ottawa, but it gets really complicated with the lighting and the technology and stuff like that. So I'm just going to start by cutting about an inch and a half of this wire. I'm gonna cut it flush and just look at, oh, I don't need that. And I'm just going to look at the shapes that I did. I think, you know, horseshoes can come in different kinds of shapes. So I'm gonna to try to make one pretty basic and then we're gonna see. Uh, light is a little dim. It is a little dim, eh? Let me open the window to see if that helps. Let's see. Is that a little bit better? I just opened up the window. I could bring my box lights upstairs, but usually for the live streams, I try to keep it pretty simple. So let's just take this one and we're going to curve it a little bit to make something that looks like, oh, thank you, Amber. Yeah, I'm very excited to visit my parents. They, they're only two hours away, so that's not too bad. And let's go around here. And I don't wanna make it too, too big, but I also don't wanna make it too, too small. So if we just bring this one around here and kind of curve it around or maybe I'll just like curve it a little bit more I think I'm gonna curve I should have probably cut this a little bit bigger it just so you have a little bit more wiggle room with it so we're gonna bring this one I'll just bring it around a little bit more yeah sometimes it's better to cut the wire bigger than smaller and then you have a little bit more wiggle room with it so let me just pull this one back a bit so the trick is to get like a nice type of shape. So we're just going to really bring this one around here. And I probably should have like traced a shape. I just sketched them out. So we're going to see how it goes. And then I think what I'm going to do is just cut the ends flush and then file them and we'll see how it goes. Charms, etc. Hello, hello. Nice. That's a nice username. So now we're going to just clip these a little bit. This is really just a very extremely rough prototype. So we're gonna see how that goes. And we're just going to like clip those. So that kind of looks like a horseshoe shape. One side is shorter than the other. So we're going to, and keep in mind, it will probably stretch when we hammer it. So we don't want to, we don't want to, oh no, it's, it's one of those things. You cut a little bit off one side and then a little bit off the other side and it gets, a little bit uneven. So I'm just going to do what I can. Sometimes when you're too fussy over things, it, it gets worse. So, so I don't want to fuss too much over this, but that's sort of like the basic shape. So uh, before that, the light was better. Oh, so maybe I should close the curtain. Let me try it again. Okay. Loop. Is that better? That's with the, that's with the sheer curtain closed. So maybe there was too much glare. You guys let me know which was which one's better. So now the, the sheer curtain is closed. Hi, Paula. And hi, Barbie. Nice to see you. So now we want to file these ends. And usually the easiest way to file the ends is I like to put my file on the table and then just go like this. I just find it a little bit easier. Now it's going to be shaky, of course. So you want to go around the outside. So just so I don't shake the table, I'm just going to bring this one around and you wanna go around and file the ends. If I had like a little electric, I do have a Dremel, but I don't have it on me, but if I had the electric Dremel on me, you could easily like soften up these ends. So you really don't want them like too harsh. So go around and soften your ends like this, and then we're gonna go from there. It's better, nice, that's awesome, because I sometimes it's hard for me to know, so when you guys give me the feedback, it's great. So we're just gonna go in here, get these like softened up a little bit. They're not perfect, but they're not too bad. So let's try to hammer this out a little bit and see, I have a feeling this is gonna be a disaster because I don't, oh, it's gonna probably shake you guys. You might wanna turn your sound down while I do this. 
and it's also going to be a little hard for me to hold on to this. So let's just try it. And just like I said, turn down your, so your sound in case this is going to be too loud. Hi, Joan. Beautiful sunny day. Woo, 30 degrees. Nice. So let's just go ahead, flatten this out a little bit. Yeah, definitely turn your sound down. Okay. And we're trying to do the ends. I'm going to do the ends a little thicker. So we're just going to bring down these. I really don't hammer a lot, so this is new to me. And we'll just get the ends a little hammered out a bit. I don't want it too flat all around. It's interesting though. I, I'm liking this. Okay, I think I'll leave it like that for now. So, so you guys can put your sound back to regular now. It's okay for now. And dig up stuff. Oh, that's a cool, that's a cool uh, username too. I like that. So there's your horseshoe. I kind of like it. It's very interesting. And then you could even push it in. I should have maybe pushed it in a little bit more, but you can push it in a little bit more. That's pretty good. And so now let's try to make this into a ring. So you can do a contrasting color or you can do the gold color. So you guys let me know if I should do the band in silver or gold. What, which one do you think would be better for the band, silver or gold? You guys can let me know and I will do that. And we're gonna keep this one really simple. The next one, I think I'm gonna put some beads on it, but I think I'm gonna do some more with the flat gold. Okay, so let's do the gold and there we go. Um, Hi, Faith. Thanks for the suggestions. My first live stream with anybody. Yay. Well, I'm honored that you chose to be on my live stream. And VG's there. Hello, hello. Uh, Verdella says silver. So maybe we'll do the next one with a contrasting color. So let's go ahead and get a piece of the 18 gauge wire. You don't need a super much lot of wire. That was terrible grammar. And here is... Uh, like two to three inches of the wire. I should have probably straightened it out a bit, but we're just going to bring it around here. And then we're going to see how to do it because we're going to like place it on there. And what you can do is just bend up one side. So we're going to bend up and hopefully Sandra will hop on the uh, live stream because this was Sandra's suggestion. So that would be great if she hopped on. And if not, Sandra can watch the live or the uh, replay. And we're just going to bring this one up here. So we're just start with this. I've been waiting to do for this to come on one. Okay, nice. Okay, that's fantastic. I'm so happy. And, and it just happens to be the day that I'm not doing it on my Wednesday. So that was lucky. So we're just going to go like that. And then you would, this is going to be the tricky part because I've sketched this out, but I haven't thought in terms of how this is actually going to logistically work. So let's see if this is going to work well or not. So if we stick it in here, okay. It's, so, it's almost not too bad if it's on an angle too, but you want to just kind of hold it in place. Bring this one down here and bring that one down here. Okay, so that's like the first step. I kind of like this. It's super simple. Wow, I'm shocked. So let's go ahead and perfect. As we're going to now, I'm going to clip it a little more because it's going to be hard to access this. So I'm going to clip it to about half an inch. And this is where we give it a little tug. So we're going to take this and actually sometimes it's easier. Uh, I'd love to look on your lives, Heather. That's fantastic. I'm so happy. So we're going to pull this one snugly. So it's like give it a little tug so it's very snug. And then make sure it's in the position you want. Maybe you have to push it a little bit more. And then we're going to give that one a little clip like really clip it in there flush, okay? And then push that in there and we're gonna tighten it up after, but let's do this side. Okay, we're gonna do this size. Hi, Doris, hello, yay. And uh, da, 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 perfect, I'm just trying to watch. Um, if you turn off you follow mode on your camera, it'll stop moving like that. Okay, if you turn off you follow mode on your camera, 
I'm not quite sure what you mean, but please let me know what you mean about that for the camera, because I know the camera shakes and it could also be, well, there's one thing, there's the autofocus that goes in and out that I haven't figured that out. And also that the, um, the table is shaking a little bit too. So faces enjoy your vids. They make my day. Yay. Oh, that makes, that makes my day. Thank you so much. I really appreciate that. And Betty Tom. Hi, Betty. Uh, it says nice. I like this. You are so awesome. Aw, thank you guys are so, so nice. You're, you're really making me feel good today. I really appreciate that. That's, uh, Lovely, lovely feedback. So here is the ring, and you guys are so patient with me troubleshooting with these ideas too, because this is like you never know how these are gonna how these are gonna fly. So the hard part now is going to get this to sit like evenly, right? So now we want to kind of get this in the same position that it was on the other side. Although crooked is not too bad either, but let's try to get it as even as possible. So if we just push this one down a bit. It's a little bit hard to access, but we want that to be even with that. So now we're going to give that a bit of a pinch, okay? And this is where you really want to pinch these in. So those ends, I might have cut it a little too um, close, but I think if we just push this down a bit, it should be okay. Okay, in there. And then this one too, we want to push that one down a bit in there and then down. And then the next one, I'll try to do some contrasting color with the um, with the uh, silver and the gold. So we've got that. In fact, I think I might do the, the horseshoe in silver. So there we go. It's not like perfectly, perfectly in place. Let's try this. And now I'm missing your comments. So there we go. Uh, okay. Uh, da, 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 da. So, the follow mode. I'm not quite sure what that is. The follow mode. Um, if if that's on my if it's a setting on my iPod or what that would be. I have to change my phone. Okay, cool. Yeah, no problem. Okay, uh, and you can make the ends of the horseshoe curve. Yes, yes. I was thinking to do some different things with the horseshoe because. Normally they have like a little thing or yeah, curve them out like that maybe. So maybe we'll do that for the next one. This one is like super basic. And so there, I don't know if it's gonna fit any of my fingers. So that's like the first very basic idea for the horseshoe. So why don't we do one when we curve the ends a little bit? Uh, this is Mustafa, hi Mustafa. We've got two Mustafas on board, fantastic. So let's try this with the silver. I actually have some silver aluminum wire and the advantage of that one it's a thick aluminum but the advantage is it's not a plated wire so you won't have any problem like if there's plastic coating or if there's like two colors in there so let's have a piece of this it's very simple eh no I'm happy with that so there's the first one let's try one with this silver so we're going to get a piece of the silver wire and we're just going to bring this one around. This one's quite thick, this wire, very quite thick. And let me bring this one in and then I think if we go out like that, that should work. Uh, otherwise, I'm not quite sure how else I would do that, but we can try that. So let's just try that. So if we take this one and bend it out. I don't know how much we should even bend it out, but we're just gonna experiment. So, and if you guys make some and do some adjustments on it, definitely let me know. And that's the other thing after, I'll do one with like a double wire. This is this is gonna be like the flat work version, but I'll also do one with a double wire. So if we do it like that, and uh, Christine, bonjour, oh bonsoir, c'est vrai, c'est plus tard. Uh, si vous êtes en France, I don't, I'm not sure if you're in France, but it would be later there for sure. Nice to see you, Christine. Bienvenue. So now I'm going to clip these. I might have clipped them a little, might have clipped that a little bit too much, but it's kind of interesting like that. Yeah, I think I clipped that one a little bit too much, but you also don't want it, you don't want it too big either. So YouTube ne m'a pas prévenu. Okay, no. Uh, C'est parce que normalement je le fais mercredi. Uh, normally I do the uh, Wednesday, but today was exceptional that I did it Tuesday. And I think there's a delay with notifications. So, uh, 
mais t'as juste manqué un bag. You just missed one ring, which is the, the basic horseshoe ring, and uh, it's all good. So now we're going to, because, okay, so Diggs says, because your camera is trying to follow your hands, that's what it's doing. So now, okay, so what, what had you said earlier about changing the, uh, see, I have a memory like a sieve. So you said to change a follow mode. Oh, so I can do that on my, I can do that on my iPod. Okay, so maybe that's going to be the solution to my two years, well, two, no, more than two years. I've been doing live streams for three years, and maybe we finally have the solution to the problem. Oh my goodness, can you imagine if it was as easy as that? I'll just change a setting on my iPod, and then next time I do a live stream, it should be, that, that should be fixed. So, wow, thank you so much for suggesting that. I will definitely check that out. So now I'm gonna just soften these up a little bit. Hi, Joan. Uh, welcome back. And Mustafa. Oh, but Joan was already on. I'm sorry. My, my brain's a little fried. Joan was saying it was 30 degrees, going up to 30 degrees. And Mustafa's back. That's who's back because uh, he was changing uh, devices. So let's just round these out a little bit. We're going to round out the little ends as much as possible. See how that looks. So that's not too bad. I could even soften these up a little bit more because you really want to soften up the ends before you flatten it, just to make them really nice and finished. Other, otherwise, they might be scratchy. So we're just gonna soften these up as much as we can, okay? And now, let's go ahead and flatten this. So now's the part where you turn down your, your sound. So we're gonna turn down the sound, and we are going to flatten that. So you guys turn down the sound on your devices, Take the earplugs out of your ears if you, uh, you know, if it's going to bother your ears. And let's go ahead and flatten this out. So we're going to flatten it. Go around here. You don't have to flatten the whole thing. Like, it's okay if it's not super flat at the end, but you can if you want. So we just have to rotate it a bit to get it even. Okay, so that's like the idea. Ooh, I like it with those little things sticking out. They look good. Uh, you're making it in a very fine, skilled, artistic way. Well, thank you. I believe you can turn it off. So yeah, I will definitely try that for the next time. I don't know that I can do it now without losing the live stream, but I'll definitely try that for the next time and I'll, I'll write it down, in fact. So now let's just push these ones in a little bit. So there's our horseshoe. It's super cute. Oh my goodness. We could even use these for earrings or something. And then maybe we can do a, um, a band with the contrasting wire. So what if we did, like if we did gold, it's good. Uh, if we did the 20 gauge, it's going to be a little bit more delicate, but let's just try it with the 20 gauge so you guys can see how it would look differently. I also had an idea to put some beads on there, so I might try that as well. So why not make the horseshoe one with the ring and not even have to cut it off at all? Yeah, I think I'm going to try some like that as well with the like a double wire, and we'll try it with all the same piece of wire. That's a great idea. We'll definitely do that. So the horseshoe uh, itself is 16 gauge, and now I'm just gonna cut a piece of the 20 gauge and see what we can do with this and bring this one here. I was thinking the other thing I could do is like do this and then do beads around the outside, but I think let's just try this very simply for now. I definitely wanna try one uh, with some beads as well. This is the 20 gauge is pretty delicate. I'm not sure if you wanna use this for the band or not because it is quite delicate, but um, it'll just show you the difference between the 20 and the 18 gauge. So let's just go for it. We'll just try, and this one I cut way too long for sure. So we're gonna bring, and the other thing I was thinking was to like get an even thicker wire and poke little holes in it, but this wire is not thick enough. I would have to get like a 12 gauge wire or something, which I might have in my stuff. I'm just, I 
don't think I can find it offhand. So if we put this one in here and then just bring this one back and this one back here, so that would be like just sort of a basic horseshoe shape. And I think we'll keep it simple. Yeah, I was going to try to add beads to this one, but I'm thinking I'm gonna keep it simple. So I'm just gonna see how it looks if we wind this around twice instead of once. So say we take this and bring it over here and we're gonna just put this one here and then say we just wind it around twice just to see how much difference it is. Because if you wind it twice, it's gonna be a little more secure and it's gonna stay in place a little better. So let's try that. Oh, teleport me some 10 gauge wire. I wish, I wish, I wish. Yes, uh, that would be great. And I'll, I'll actually look in my stuff after and see if I have some thicker wire. 10 would probably be the best because it would be nice and thick. There's my telephone, but that's okay. I'm just gonna leave that. And then we're gonna go here, and then we're gonna clip those ends. And I don't want the ends to be, I'm trying to think if I wanna clip them under or over. Maybe clip them underneath so they're just not showing, as long as the end isn't too sharp. So let's just bring that one down, give this one a little clip, and make sure I get right in there. Okay, and then bring this one around here. Give that one a little clip. And now, see, I like it with the two little, the two little wires on there. That looks kind of cute too. So let's go ahead and give this one a pinch. We're gonna give that one a little pinch. There goes my answering machine, it's all good. So pinch that one in, and then this one too, we wanna make it so it's in the same place and give that one a little pinch, pinch there. And hi, Jackie, how you doing? And there, we're gonna put this one in here and just pinch that in place, perfect. So that actually looks really good. I kinda like that one, it's very simple. It's also ended up being a little bit small, but it's interesting, eh? So, so far we have these two rings, we have the, I'll put them on here. They're, they're not really the right size, but so there's the with the silver and then this one with the gold. So there's a good starting point. Now let's try to do one with all one piece of wire. So let's remove those and I will get the, I'm gonna try for the 20 gauge, I think. I'll use the, that's 18. Which one is that, 18? That's not the one that I meant to get. So let me try to get a 20 gauge wire because this is, I think, going to be a little bit thick. So I'm gonna get some 20 and try it with the 20 gauge wire. I think it's gonna be better. I have a lot of 18 gauge wire, but I don't really wanna use the 18 right now. So I'll see if I can find the 20. Yeah, so here's the 20 gauge wire. Let's see what we can do with that. And uh, being busy looking for your grandchildren, now you can relax, definitely. So maybe you can make some horseshoe rings with us. So let's just take a piece of the 20 gauge and see what we could do. Uh, I love those happy, awesome, that's fantastic. Well, they're certainly perfect for horse lovers. And Sandra had asked me to do this, so I'm really happy for um, experimenting with these horseshoe designs. So I have done horseshoe earrings before, which are very simple as well. So now if we're going to do the ring with one piece of wire, what we would have to do is just start by forming the horseshoe. So maybe I'll just start, I'm gonna take this and bring this one in here. Okay, we're just gonna bring it around. I don't wanna do it too, too big either. So we'll just start like that. And then we're gonna bend the ends out. So we're just gonna bend this one out, straight out here, like a nice sharp bend. And this one too, straight out, nice sharp bend. So we have our starting interior part of the horseshoe. So there we go, looks really good, thank you. I love horseshoes, yay! So there we go, so we're gonna bring this one out here. You might even be able to flatten the wire too. I hadn't thought about that. I hadn't predicted wanting to flatten this wire, but we're, we're gonna see what it's gonna do. So if we have something like that, and then usually how I do the horseshoes is 
when I do the earrings is I just bring it kind of in on a bit of an angle and then up. Okay, just like that. And then this one too, we're gonna bring it in and then up, just like that. Okay, I just have to tell Mark that he had a message. Mel, to a message sur le téléphone. Yeah, no, no, ça va, tu peux le, tu peux le écouter. So uh, that message was for Mark and not for me, so he can check the message. <laughs> there we go. So now we are going to, we want one of these to go out one way. So now let's bend this out on an angle. Uh, duh, 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 bing, on a right angle. Perfect. And then this one, yeah, this is what I'm not sure about. I might have wanted to leave some space there. I think it's going to be okay. So if we're going to just like, this is the beginning part. And I'm just going to bring this one all the way around. Ooh, it got really yucky. I thought it was going to follow the curve. It got a little bent out of shape. It's not too bad. So we're going to just curve this out a little bit. So that's like just the basic little... Um, little shape like that. Now I'm just wondering what I want to do because I might want to bend it out that way. Uh, this is where I stop and hesitate and decide what I want to do because I could just bend it out that way or I could wind it around. Like say I wanted, say I do want to flatten it. I might want to, I might want to, I could try to flatten it a little bit. Let me just try. Okay, I'm gonna go like that. This is a real experiment, guys. So, hello, Mark. You almost got it right. Mark is M-A-R-C. So you you almost got it right. That's perfect, because in English it's M-A-R-K and in French it's M-A-R-C. So let's go ahead, tap this. Watch your ear, uh, ears. We're gonna tap this out a little bit. gonna do I didn't really mean to tap the whole um, the whole um, how do you say this thing but I guess I could even tap that whole thing I don't know we can just play with it a little bit no I'm not sure I want to tap the the band at all but that's okay we're just gonna do it like that Make little loops at the end yes yeah, we could try to do some little loops. I'm going to, here, I'm going to, I wish you guys could like send me sketches of what you're talking about because sometimes it would be nice to be able to like visualize what you guys are visualizing. And when we do the Let's Get Wired uh, episodes, I open up the Discord app and you guys can actually share photos. So if I do it this way, I don't know if that's useful or not. This one, maybe I should have tightened it up a little bit. Let's just tighten up that bend a little bit. So we're going to take this and bend it out here. That's going to go here. So yeah, because sometimes you guys make some great suggestions, but if I can't like visualize it, it's a little bit tricky. But usually if you explain it to me enough, then I'll get it. So there's just like the basic shape. Uh, it could be that on both limbs of the horseshoe, the wire can be wrapped instead of wrapping both ends of the rings Wow. Okay, so now I really need you guys to send me a sketch because it's a little bit tricky. So let's bring this one around. We're going to bring this one around here. And then, see, this is not quite where I wanted to go with this. And I do want to put some little, I do want to put some beads, I think, on there. So this one, I'm not sure if I want to do the double wrap thing or not, but this gives you guys ideas. So you can learn from my mistakes. And then if you see something that uh, works better for this, you can definitely do that. So I am going to, could maybe do that, or I can back pedal and I can take this and just wind it around, which was one of sort of the other sketches that I'd done. And if it snaps, I'm going to redo it. So we're going to bring this one in here. We're just going to bring this one around here, and then I'm going to clip it off. So we're going to start with this and see to bind them together with the other wire. 
Mm, yeah, maybe Amber, I should get you to like send me DMs with little images or something. <laughs> we'll figure out we'll figure out something uh, along the way. So say we just make this one simple, and I'm just going to cut this one off, and then I can do another one after, and see if I can like integrate some other ideas with it. So we're going to just clip this one here and push this one in here. And so there we have like just sort of the basic shape, which is kind of cute, looks good. Whoops, sorry, I just knocked this thing. Hi, Almon, how you doing? So now we're gonna bring this one in here and then we can, you know what? I almost don't even wanna put it in here. Like if this was a thicker wire, we could just do a spiral with this. This is, this is 20. I'm gonna try one with 18 after that we actually don't have to attach it on one side. That might be interesting too. But if we take this, bring it underneath, and then just bring this one around. Okay, I'm gonna just bring it around like this. A cup. So if we bring it around here, see it's not bad. Like you can get an idea of how it would look like that. And then the other thing I was thinking was to put some beads on there. So whether that would work or not, I'm not 100% sure. But say we just did this, kept it simple. It looks a little looks a little funny, but that's okay. And I'm going to just wind it around a couple of times. I think you could just spend like many, many hours making these. Yeah, see, I'm not sure I like it double looped around. So let's just keep this one super simple. And I'll just clip it here. So we're going to say, uh, I like that. Oh, thank you. So there we go. We're going to just take this. And if ever you guys want to like, uh, share pictures of what you mean, like if you, if you do something like this, or, or if you want to share a sketch or something like that, go to discord and uh, Mustafa, maybe you can share the link for discord and people can share uh, pics of what they're working on or if you had some suggestions for this project just post it in the in the um, post live stream section of discord that would be great and then that would give me an idea of what you mean and I can troubleshoot some of the ideas that you guys are mentioning as well so here is the ring with just the horseshoe and it's attached at the side there so it's not like symmetrical but it's not awful it's not too bad and let's try one where we do it with a thicker wire and see how that goes. We can also start it at the bottom. Like maybe if I just, I'm just gonna take this paper. Uh, sorry, ma'am, I'm a learner. No, that's, uh, no, I really appreciate all the ideas. It's just, um, I'm trying to understand what people mean when they make suggestions. You can also make a horseshoe in double wire. So the ends, yes, so there we go, perfect. So now, like say we're gonna do this with the 18 gauge wire, like say if I do one like kind of this type of thing, if I did that and then maybe end it, rather than end it here, maybe I could just end it here or something. It might be a little cleaner look. And then you can even just like either wind it around, I guess you could even end it there, or you can go like that, because I also wanted to try some with beads. So we're going to see how that works. So if we do like that, and then, because I was wondering if you could do something where you just bring it, bring it around and then maybe do something like that type of thing might be interesting as well. So why don't we try some other things with the 18 gauge wire, see how it goes. Hi, Emily, how you doing? And uh, there we go, perfect. Verdella, did I say hi to you already? I forget if you hopped on earlier or not. So if I didn't, hello, hello. So let's pull this one out. Nice piece of the 18 gauge wire. This one's quite a bit thicker. Whoops, that's not a cutter. So let's cut this. And then let us go ahead and uh, Anne's crafty little Little, little, littler things. Cool name. Hi, Anne. How are you? So let's go ahead and try the, um, this one for the horseshoe. I'm just trying to envision how I want to do this one. I'm going to leave a little bit here. Actually leave quite a bit. And then let's try this with the 18 gauge. So we're going to bring this up. And then we're going to bring this one here. Yes, I did. Thank you. Okay, perfect. I lose track, so there we go. So we're gonna bring this one in here and bring this one out. 
and we'll try the horseshoe with the 18 gauge wire and see how it does. And I really wanna try some with beads too, so we're gonna do that next. We're gonna bring this one up and up and then bring this one all the way around here. Make it a little bit bigger here. I probably could have made the whole thing a bit bigger, but that's okay. We're gonna bring this one here and then we wanna bend the bottom wire out a little bit. So we're gonna bring this one out and we'll bring that one over. And then I'm just going to twist that end around here and it looks a little bit more even, although I'm not 100% sure about this. I think this is gonna take a lot of trial and error to get like perfectly happy with it but I think um, I think we're on the right track so now we want to just finish that in so I'm just going to bring it in give it a little tug there and just cut it so it's very flush so we're just going to cut that one in there oh I lost my computer screen there we go it, it goes in sleep mode so then I can't see the I can't see the comments anymore so question, question, question mark. Hello, I love your copper words. Thank you. And Tish, hello, hello, Tish. Nice emojis, thank you. So we're gonna bring this one in here. And so there we have, this looks funny there. I'm not sure I'm loving that type of thing, but just for the sake of trying this, let's see what would happen. And then what I can do after is just combine some of these ideas to do different things. Like I was thinking maybe you could do something like this with a little spiral or something. This, I don't love that little, that little kind of corner thing there, but we're just gonna see what we could do. So if we take this, bring it around, maybe get a smaller, I think I need a smaller round form for that. So we're gonna bring that one around a bit and then we can just make a spiral and see what it does. And then, yeah, you guys feel free to like do any combination of these um, designs. So there we go. So uh, where are we going to do this? So bring this one around, around and around, pull it in a little bit. It's very thick, the 18 gauge wire. So it's a little a little trickier to do the um, the spiral because it is quite thick. So we're going to bring that one here and pinch that one in place. So that would be the idea. Like if you could do like a little horseshoe thing and a spiral, it might be might be interesting. Maybe this has to go on an angle a little bit. I'm not quite sure, but I'm just going to try a bunch of things and then we're going to see how it goes. So and then this one you might have to curve it a little bit to get it to sit properly. So it's a little weird, but it's okay. It's kind of fun. Kathy, Nova Scotia, yay! Want to go out east one of these days? We're gonna have to see. So there's a horseshoe with a funny little spiral. So that's that one. And then the other thing I was wondering is maybe we could even just do one with, with beads. I don't know, it's not gonna look much like a horseshoe but we can try something like that and I have some kind of hematite type beads but I'm not quite sure that's going to look like much of anything so just let me get some 20 gauge wire that's the silver so let me just get a bit of the 20 gauge wire and see what happens with that we're just going to cut a piece of the 20 and I like this idea too. This would be like a flat wire that you could put beads on or you can um, or you can um, make holes in there. That could be cool. I think this isn't going to look like much of anything. So I'm not even sure that one's worth doing at all. Um, you could maybe try it. Let me just try to bend this and put some beads on it and see what it does. So if we're just going to bend that one up, and uh, there, you can do a beaded one. Yeah, I'll try the beaded one and we'll see how it looks. I don't know if I have great beads for it, but we can try, like we'll just do, bring this one around. It might not look like a horseshoe, but it might, you never know. So I brought these beads because they're the smaller ones that might be good. So I'll try these. I'll see if they look very good. 
I'm not quite sure what they're going to look like, but we can try because I think the round beads might not be as suitable, but maybe like a kind of a little seed bead thing might be interesting. So let's try this. These are the iridescent seed beads, but you can use, some of them are a little long. You can use any kind of um, seed beads that you like. Some of them, the holes are too small. So let's just try to get these on. But yeah, I kind of would like to try as many of these designs as I can, and then we can get an idea and we can combine them to do other things as well. And I do like the idea of doing like a metal base and putting the seed beads on top. So there we go. So we're just going to get all of these on round and round. And it's kind of interesting. I don't mind it, but maybe there should be a bigger bead at the end to represent. I wonder if I take this one off here. I'll just hopefully it's not going to snap the wire. But if I remove one of these and try to put maybe a bigger bead on the end might work. Let's see what it. This one's gonna be probably too big. So it's kind of interesting though. Like if I had a bigger, I wish I had my other beads. Let me just see what I have in here. I have these beads too that I might have something that's a little bigger. I was hoping to find an iridescent one. Let me just have a look and see, cause I do have my other beads. I'll just have a look and see. If I can find one, um, I have a whole thing of seed beads. There we go. Yeah, I have a whole bag of seed beads here that I can look in and see. Oh, I do have those ones. Okay, perfect. So I have these iridescent ones like that that are a little bit bigger than the ones I'm using. So why don't I try one of those? Okay. Uh, Tish said, may I ask, I seen a horseshoe last week. Was it yours or a friend that follows you? I'm in love and looking for a tutorial. Well, I've done horseshoe um, earrings before, but this is the first time I've ever done a horseshoe ring. So this is brand new, uh, just experimenting. So we'll see how it goes. So what if we put one of these beads on the end instead? sort of like a brown color, I like it. So let's take that and we're just going to bend it, but you wanna make sure it's on a good right angle so the bead's not gonna come off. And then let's do a couple more little ones and then we're gonna put the other iridescent bead on there. So there we go. Uh, Sahara says you're a good teacher, I like your videos. Thank you. That's great feedback because I love teaching. So that's really good to hear. So there, I used to do a lot of in-person teaching, but I haven't done it for a while. So this one, do I want to use, this one's a little bit different in color and size. So let's put this one on. It's a little more the same size, not quite the same color, but that's okay. But if we do that and that, but now you have to really hold it tight to push it out. So it kind of looks like a horseshoe. It has to be a little wider at the top, I think. So you can wiggle that around. Oops, see, these are going to come off. So you have to be careful to really, you want this bead to really hold in place. So you have to like really push it or it's going to come around the corner. That's the thing. So, cause sometimes those beads will just come around the corner, but if we do it this way, hopefully it's going to stay and we could probably reinforce it when we bring the ring around. So this is uh, just like that. And then say we bring the, this one around. This is the 20 gauge wire. So it is a little bit thin and not as strong as the 18. So we're gonna bring this one around here and around here. Make sure that stays in the right position. So here and here, just like that. So this makes like a double band on there. Now this ring won't be adjustable um, if I if I attach the ends together on this side, but you know what? You almost don't have to, as long as that bead is thick enough, I think it's gonna hold in place. You know what I might do is actually, here, I'm gonna pull this back. If I put a slightly thicker bead, it should hold in place. It says sometimes the beads go around the corners there, uh, which is a bit of a bother because you want them to stay in place. And if I put a bead, maybe even with a smaller, 
a hole, it's gonna hold in place a little bit better. So let me just see what I have in the way of beads. That one might be good too. So let's just take that. And just cause I don't really wanna finish them at the front, it's gonna be a little tricky, but this one, see, cause it wants to go around the corner. So let's remove that one and put another bead on there and get that one in there and then just give it a little tug. And it's bigger than that side, but I think for the sake of the sample, we'll just leave it like that because this one seems secure in place. So it's a little bit bigger that one than that one, but it's it's not too bad. So let's just go ahead. I've cut these wires way too long, but that's fine. So we're gonna bring it around and then we can finish it in a way that it can be slightly adjustable. So if we bring this one to either side, just like that at the back, then we can take this one, hold it in the middle, and then we can just bring this one around. It's actually sometimes easier to hold it with the flat pliers, bring it in a little bit, and then make sure this is centered, Say, make sure that one is centered here, and then you can just take this. These are way too long. You could clip them first. So let me just get the cutters. Okay, love this idea. I think it's with the, with the uh, beads, it works out quite well. Uh, so especially if you have some nice beads. So now we're gonna bring this one in here, bring that one around. Yeah, hold this together in place. Bring that one around here. And you can wind it once or twice around, depending on your wire. There we go. So we're gonna wind that one around twice and then flip it hold that one in place, and then we're gonna go and wrap that one around here. And what I'll do is after the live stream, I'm gonna hop over to Discord, and um, I'll put pictures of these, and I'll keep working on the designs, and I'll add more pictures on Discord so you guys can see uh, other ideas for it. So there, if we just like have it wound like that, it's slightly adjustable, and then we can clip the ends. Uh, Tina says, hi, hello, hello. And uh, what's your zodiac sign? Uh, I'm a Sagittarius and I've actually done zodiac signs in wire and they're super fun to do. They're fun as rings as well. So there we go. So let's go ahead and bring that one in here and just bring this one in here a little bit and you wanna make sure your ends aren't pokey. So just push them in or file them. And then this ends up being the horseshoe ring, which is very simple, kind of interesting. Uh, I didn't know you were on today. I was, I'm only on today because I'm not available tomorrow. So it's a little change in plans. So here's the horseshoe ring with the beads, which is kind of cool. And uh, let me try one more design and then we'll have a look at what we did. I'm just gonna grab that. I'm gonna grab a sip of water. Okay, so, da, 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 da. <laughs> that one's cute too with the heart bead. I don't know if I have a, a heart bead on there. Mm, I'm just thinking of something else I could do now. Let me just try, see if I have a little heart bead here. I have this tiny little one, this little purple one, but what if we did something like that with the flat one, but slightly different if I turn the ends around I don't know what this is gonna do. Let me just try something. So I'm gonna get another piece of the larger wire, the 16 gauge wire. So let's get a piece of that. So we're gonna get the 16 gauge wire and we're gonna bring this one around, okay? And we want it big enough so maybe the heart will go inside somehow. So if we bring that one and then bring that one out but what I wanna do is I may wanna make it a little bit longer so that I can actually do something with these edges, but I don't know if this is gonna work or not. So let's just bring this one around. Uh, do I have a bigger shape? Let's see this one, bring this one around a little bit more. So we're gonna bring this one around here and here. Might or might not work and then yeah, I think it's gonna be, it's it's really tricky to get the shape quite right. But what I was thinking is to do the ends a little longer and then bend them back. So we can see what that what that's gonna do. And uh, da, 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 let's clip this. I'm gonna just cut it a little bit longer than what I would normally. So hopefully it's long enough. 
I'm not going to worry too much about filing these because I'm going to try something different. So if we do that and then uh, plug your ears again because I am going to do this. Perfect. And we're just going to give it a bang. So turn down your volume or plug your ears. Okay, sorry guys, that's really loud. So the idea that I wanted to do with this, and now I think it's gotten too wide, but maybe we can see what we can do with this. We're gonna bring this one in. Yeah, it might have gotten a little bit too wide. And then I was gonna see if I could bend these ends back. I don't know if it's gonna work or not, but just take these and bend them back. And this one too, just take it and bend it back. Yeah, this one I should have flattened it a little bit more but that's okay. So we're gonna bring that one there and that one there and just pinch it in a little bit. So we're gonna just take that, pinch it in, this one too, that maybe have to twist a little bit more with that. Perfect. Bring that one in and bring that one in there. Perfect. So there we go. So we have like just, that one's a little different. It's just gonna, Guess that would go to the back, although it could maybe go to the front. And then I was gonna try to think of a way that I could attach the heart, or maybe this part would be for the ring part. So let me just get some wire. I'm gonna get some 18 gauge to see what we can do with that. Uh, 18 gauge, uh, tarnish resistant silver. Let's do the 18 gauge. I'm just gonna cut a little piece and we're gonna put that one through. It's not that loud? Oh, that's good to hear. Cool. So now let's just bring this one around. I'm totally experimenting with this. So we're gonna see what it does. And what happens if we just like stick that on there? Of course, now the wire is, these holes aren't big enough because they're not gonna fit the 18 gauge wire. So what if we just, kind of try to make these ones a little bit bigger. Yeah, I think my loops weren't big enough and I, oh, I don't want them to break because then I will, won't will be able to uh, do anything with them. So if we just put that one through there, okay, maybe if I bend it this way a little bit, perfect. Now we're going to take that one in there now Mustafa is is Mustafa's on. He could put the link for um, Discord, and if there's a link for Discord, I'll pin it at the top. And then after this, we can go over to um, Discord to the post live stream sections, and I'll post pictures of these. So this is sort of interesting. I'm not quite sure where I'm going with this, but if we bring this one here and bring it around, okay, that's kind of cool. I'm not sure what it's gonna do as a ring, but we can play with it and see, because I thought that might be interesting. And what happens if we do this? Okay, perfect. Hi again, Sharon says hi again, everybody. Hello again. So yeah, so let's just bring this one around, see what's gonna, go, what's gonna happen, and yeah, this is, this is a little bit strange. I don't know what this is doing. We're gonna see about that. Might or might not. I think as a ring, it's not gonna work because it's gonna flip all over the place. So let's remove this one for now. Uh, this is where we just experiment and see what happens because this is a bit of a mess now. So let's just cut this one out. Uh, Oh, awesome, so your fit, Bessie's a horse lover. So so like I was saying, you can use any of these ideas and just try different things with them because I'm really just experimenting today. I'm not exactly sure where I'm going with all this, 
but uh, you can you guys can definitely use these ideas and uh, and go to town with them. So let's go ahead and just try to attach this horseshoe first, and then I might try to attach the heart after. So we're gonna bring that one up here, and then bring this one around, and push this one up a little bit. Okay, so we're just gonna start with that and that. I'm gonna clip this one. And Cat, hi Cat, how are you? Cat, you probably didn't know I was going live today, but I'm not available tomorrow, so that's why I'm doing the live stream today. So sorry for anybody that wasn't expecting me to go live today. It's very exceptional. I usually go live on Wednesdays. So and when, and next week we'll be back to the usual time. So this is gonna bring that one in here. And now we're going to just attach these. So we want to give this one like a little tug like we did previously. So we just give that one a little tug here. And then I'm going to attach the heart with a different wire, I think. So if we bring this one here and just give it a little clip. And then this one too. And I think from here we're going to have enough ideas that we can kind of do our own thing with this. Like you guys will definitely be able to, you know, uh, pivot off of these ideas to do something else. So we're gonna do that. And uh, Discord, so Mustafa, are you there? Cause Mustafa, if you're there, you can post the Discord. And if not, I'll just go find the link and uh, and post it. So, um, so yeah, so just let me know if Mustafa doesn't, isn't here anymore and didn't post the link, I will go find it. So gotta go catch you later. Thanks for hopping on. So now let's go ahead and just do this. So this too, I'm not sure about these things going underneath like that. I'm not sure if I like the way that looks. I guess you could also maybe push them out to the side. Let's see if that would work because I think this isn't going to work for that. But what if these were out that way? It's going to do a weird twist thing here, but just for the sake of it's not working like how I had originally planned. So you could even like flatten them out like that. I'm just going to put them out here because it looks weird, but it's going to be better because it's not going to sit well on the finger if they're like sticking to the back. So I think this is going to be good. It's different. Yeah, it's kind of cool. It's not exactly what I had intended, but it's only just because I don't want them sticking into the back of the thing. Oh, he has no Discord. Okay, so let me go get the Discord link. I just have to find it. I could definitely find it. And bye, Ashita. So we've got to get the password. Um... Good thing I'm not sharing my screen. I did, I made that mistake before where I shared my screen and I had all my passwords popping up. That was a bit of a disaster, but that's okay. I have the link. So now I have the link. So let's do, I'm just going to type guys, Discord. And you want to go in the post live streams section. So here's Discord. Let me pin it at the top. Perfect. So if you guys want after this, you can go over to Discord in the post live stream section and and then you can you can uh, have a look at the at the pictures and stuff and I'll do more designs for the for these as well. So let's go ahead and get some 22 gauge wire to help attach the beads. So I've got some 22 gauge wire and this will be the last one, but then I will definitely do some more. Uh, designs for these. So there we go. And let's get the heart bead. Oh, you know, it would be really cute too, I guess, but it wouldn't really work for this. I was going to say if you dangled the heart, but you don't really want it dangling for a, um, for a ring, like it would kind of might get tangled on stuff. But if we put this one here, how are we going to get it so it doesn't flip? That's the only thing. And you do want to get it to sit that way. Like my original idea was thinking maybe you can attach it down here, but I don't know if you want that either. And I like it being vertical. Like you could, I guess you could do it that way, but if you have a heart with a horizontal hole, uh, by all means do it that way. But if not, 
Let's see what happens if we just try to attach it this way. We're going to see what happens and we just want it to be like secure. So if we just wind this around here and bend this one to the back, okay, and I'm going to clip that. So my grand name was Boyd, but she was Scottish. Well, um, uh, I'm actually Scottish. My family is from Scotland, uh, my dad's side of the family, and my mom's side of the family is from England. Um, I speak French because I um, moved to Quebec when I was 20, and I learned French then, but I'm very Anglophone and very Scottish. So there you go. So that's the, and actually my dad has done my whole family tree and um, he's traced it way, 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 way back. So uh, yeah, so I have all the family tree with all our ancestors and everything. So now I'm just kind of bringing this one back here. I'm just trying to get it as symmetrical as possible. So I'm just bending this wire to the back. And what wire do you recommend for beginners? So, Bonilla, uh, what I love to use is the artistic wire. This is the artistic copper wire. comes in different colors. There's this one, and then I have... Uh, the best ones are the tarnish-resistant ones. So, artistic wire by Beadalon, tarnish-resistant, and I like 18, 20, 24, and 22-gauge wire. Uh, I prefer this to the para wire. I find the para wire a little soft. So this is just my personal preference of wire. Everybody has their personal preference. And um, in a pinch, I've used craft wire from Michaels as well. But this one is nice because it is tarnish resistant and it's very easy to use. So uh, yeah, I would definitely recommend this wire. So now I'm going to twist this around maybe just once because then it looks like there's three. It's It's sort of centered. So let's cut this one. Uh, my grandfather's from Behran, so my, oh, cool, very nice, nice. Yeah, it's nice to know, like, about your family tree and stuff like that. We actually had a reunion a few years ago, and my sister made us all t-shirts, and we, my dad gave us, like, sort of, like, codes for our, for our, um, family tree, so I have my t-shirt with Boyd on the back and the, my code, my family code, so it's, uh, it's kind of funny. So, guys, this turned out beautifully. I love this. It, just be careful that this doesn't flip, but I think it's pretty well um, secured in place. Yeah, I really like this one. So now we're going to show you guys all the rings and you can let me know which ones are your favorite. So we have this one here and this one here. Um, I just clued in. So uh, FSB, that's Mustafa. Is that uh, is that is that your mom's phone? I'm losing track of uh, of usernames here. So guys, look at all these rings. Maybe I'll just place them on the table, and then I'll bring the camera down so you can see them. That might be the best thing because otherwise they're kind of hard to see. So look how many we made. You guys, tell me which one is your favorite. Let me bring this down. And yes, okay, cool. So I was a little confused there. So that's why you couldn't post the Discord thing, which is no problem at all. I just posted it. So here are the Clarice. Hello, hello. So guys, let me know which one is your favorite ring. We made a lot of horseshoe rings. Thanks to Sandra. Uh, Sharon has to run. Thanks for popping by. I've been extremely busy. <laughs> And you guys gave some great suggestions too. So let me know which one is your favorite. Next time I'm going to try to fix the focus on this uh, iPod so we don't have the same problem. Uh, Jackie likes the one with the heart. Almond likes all of them. Uh, be funny if their connection is back to Trace. Yes, we might be related. That's very funny. You never know. I like the heart ring. Yeah, the heart ring is really pretty. I think it's a, I think it's a nice design. And I kind of like those loops on there like you could do that same design with just the flat wire but I kind of like the 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 loops as well so that's it guys let me turn the screen around and say goodbye so I'm going to flip it around uh and then next week we'll be back to Wednesday today was just Tuesday because uh I'm not here tomorrow Joan says they're all wonderful thank you gold gold and gold and silver with the heart nice and uh, so that was really great to, for everybody to hop on the live stream. 
Uh, we'll definitely see you guys next week. I'm going to hop over to Discord now and post pictures of these. And if you guys are making any of these, post pictures as well. And if I make more, I'll post it in the group. So, so guys, have a great uh, day, night. Uh, thank you, Amber and Mustafa, so much for helping moderate the chat. And uh, we'll see you guys the next time. Bye.